We have an earthquake uh, of magnitude 5, which is quite high for the Iceland in the Bardabunga area. This is where the volcano is actually coinciding, is covered by the glacier. This is the second highest peak in Iceland, and in the past, we had missed the eruptions due to these uh, uh, earthquakes uh, visually un until the satellites picked it up. We are now seeing, of course, in those areas some flooding of the water. We have seen it last week. We reported that. And the area of view shows some change, but we are not certain. The depth is 1.7 kilometer. That can be the contact of the ice with the, uh, the ground or a little bit below the ground. It can be due to the melting of the ice, but we have to see for later information. I have a video about this. Please watch that. Verda Bonga Volcano is the second highest uh, mountain in the uh, Iceland. It is uh, an area 200 kilometer um, long, and we had an earthquake in that area. Uh, when it erupts, actually, sometimes we have missed it. We had uh, the seismic activity like today and yesterday. That was in 2014 and 15. Today we had the similar situation. 2014, we had the, all the signs pointing that there is a eruption imminent. Uh, it didn't happen, or we didn't see it. Then, the spacecrafts from above the Earth saw the eruption. And a huge amount of the sulfur dioxide was released into atmosphere. People suffered a lot from that in the Iceland. And eventually, we saw the lava at the surface. This was the eruption which we missed miserably. And as you can see, the situation is very similar to that. The evidence is there, like those areas that we know in Iceland, that when the, uh, you see rivers of the water in the glacials flowing, that points to some, uh, you know, magmatic activity. Bardabunga means big bulge or Barder's bulge. It is the area to watch at. It may erupt again.